Oh no, don't do it, Rue. What? How long have you been fucking AJ? No! Oh god! What are you talking about? Rue! Yeah. <laughs> No, bro. You don't do that. You don't do an episode like that, bro. I was like, I did a whole prediction video and like just a whole, just take that whole video and just throw it in the trash because nothing I said came to not a lick of it. I, right? bro, I was complete. I just lost my marbles, man. I don't know. I, I need to recover. Okay, I need to recover. I, I need to do the same thing. Root need to be doing right now is recovering because that poor baby. Oh baby just went through so much. I, I and it's all, it's all her fault. But what I tell you, Ru said before I go down, before I fucking go down, bitch, I'm taking everybody with me. Mama, Gia, Elliot, Jewel, Cassie. You finna get this smoke to Cassie in this bitch. Just take it one day at a time, Ru. I'm looking like Cassie. Shit, your stupid ass up. Out of all people who could have said a goddamn thing, you is the last person sitting there with this big ass Kool Aid smile on. Just take it one day at a time, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to. I, I, listen, bro, I ain't saying that. I ain't no intro. I'm gonna tell you two minutes into this video. What's going on, you guys? Like, what you guys to the channel? It's Big Dog back with another one take review. And today I got one for Euphoria, season two, episode five. Should have been titled "Rue Drop a Bomb on a Bitch," boy. Cause God, uh, this is this is this this. Somebody said, "Bro, ain't too much been happening this season." What show is y'all watching? What show are y'all tuned into every Sunday night? Because you tuned into every Sunday night. I don't know anybody who watched this bitch on a fucking Monday. Okay, you watch this bitch on Sunday night. You ready to talk about it with literally any and everybody who will fucking listen because I know damn well I am. Bro, this jump popped off out the gate. To hell with Cal, the, the, the spaz and I. To hell with Cassie throwing up in a the pool. They go straight in the room, tripping out on Gia, Gia, Gia and her mama. Talking about, man, just a little fucking week. Like, I'm just like, Rue, bro, drugs is drugs, okay, Rue? And you are a recovering addict. Matter of fact, Rue, you're not actually a recovering addict at all. That's the persona that you're putting on. But, like, Rue, you are an addict, so anything will flip you off. So I know it's her mama all out the gate mad at her. You know what I'm saying? But she just trying to like Rue, calm down, Rue. Like, Gia, you fucking snitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, Rue tweaking. Let me tell y'all how fucking this, this how much Rue a trip though. This how much Rue a trip. My mom said I ain't I ain't talking about no I ain't talking about no weed, Rue. I'm talking about the pills. <laughs> that Rue said. Mm -hmm. What pills, mom? <laughs> she she act like this. I just woke up. Mm. Pills? I don't, I don't do pills. It's like one fight. Come drug test me. Rude, bro, that she she got that shit down back to a D. Hey, like, come drug test me. I don't give a damn. It's like, I don't need the drug test. Rude, I mean, Jules already told me. Boy, when her mama said that, it's like all life. It's, I don't know who it was. Might have been God himself. I don't know if he sent the angel, but to me, it seemed like God himself came down there and literally just reached down and took Ruth's soul out. <laughs> and just took it back. He didn't take it to heaven. I'm pretty sure he just picked it up and dropped it. She went straight to hell because Ruth piece of shit. But uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he also left her body when she's heard that. She, com she commenced to give one of these just she just completely went ballistic. We saw what people crash and I do last week with, with Cassie, and we saw it with, uh, like I said, Kyle. We saw people crash out last week. Rue just said, you know what? You think you're going to top me? Just because you pull your dick out? You know what I'm saying? Piss in the hallway? Nah, I'm gonna watch what I do. I'm finna go off on everybody in the fucking house. I'm finna kick, Rue literally kicked down the door. Rue, I swear, bro. 
Woo! Bought 32 pounds. <laughs> but it, bro, who, who done kicked out of the door? She going off on her mama and shit. And like, she is trying to hurt. She is saying everything imaginable to hurt their feelings. Though. I'm just like, here she go again. Here she go again. She she in that mode where she just spazzing out. And she's cheap brought up. She said, you know what? Dad's dead. It's like, oh, well, she, you have to be like a neurologist or work for fucking NASA or be an astronaut. If not, mom, 0 for 2. I'm just like, bro, she really just going in on it. But you, I feel like at this point, they kind of used to it. Don't get me wrong. The shit Ruth say still hurt like crazy. Like, I'm just, like, and as some as a fan, you just look and just disgust at her because we've seen Rue literally burn, like, just try to burn as many bridges as humanly possible. We saw how she talked to Jules last week. We saw how she talked to Ali. It's just like a constant thing when she just don't got drugs in her body. She's not that person, okay? She just fucking snapped and, like, you thought that was as bad as it was going to get, okay? You thought it could get any worse. <laughs> Whoa. No fucking way. She snaps and then comes back into herself, just like, hey, where are the pills, Ma? Just please tell me. Oh, I'm I, need, I need to know what she did with them. We flushed them. Who the fuck did that? I'm looking. I'm like, who? That ain't her mama voice. That ain't Jill voice. I know this bitch Jules ain't in a fucking house, especially after fucking Elliot. This bitch Jules in the house. Give me a minute, cause it's actually difficult for me to get back up. But hear what I'm saying? She, Jules is in the house with Elliot. Rue see her. Rue go off on her too. Cause I'm telling you, Rue not sparing nobody. Also, I'm seven minutes into this video and I'm still on there at the first 10 minutes of this damn episode. That's how crazy this shit was. But Rue went off on Jewel's ass. She called her a leech. I mean, I promise y'all, I'm still trying to get up, but I'm telling you, it's more difficult than you think it is because I was not actually planning to slide down this far. So I'm still down here. But I promise you, before this review over, I'll be back up sitting with my upright. But, bro, she goes off on Jewel's. Hers, Jewel's feeling. Jewel's just like, Jewel, he, She's trying to best like, ooh, I love you. You don't fucking love me. <laughs> she also like, I wish I never met you type shit. You the worst thing to ever happen. I'm just like, no. Rue, lay off. Calm down, Rue. It ain't that serious. You just you you just need some drugs, Rue. You don't mean this. She don't give a damn. Like, and, and even Jewel is a child telling her, like, you don't mean it. I don't, I don't believe you. That those that don't like even if jewels don't believe it, that don't stop it from hurting in that moment. I promise you, I'm still trying to get up, okay? But I'm just I'm caught up in the moment right now, so just work with me, people. Maybe I'll put a picture up there just to just like to hold stuff off. But listen, it was crazy. I'm just like Jesus Christ, bro. Then Elliot, oh, <laughs> she said, <laughs> he's a fucking addict too. If he tell you anything, he's a liar and a snake. She mushed him. She, ugh, ugh, she mushed. I'm like, you getting, you getting physically violent, man, bro. It was already bad enough. You over there hurting everybody's feelings, saying all this mean shit to them. Now you want to get physical with people? I would push your ass down. Don't fucking touch me because your ass ain't got no goddamn joy. I'm trying to look out for you because we, we don't want you to die. So okay. We back. But I'm just like, yo, she's going off on everybody. And and like I, I'm not even like I, I was looking doing our prediction, like what does Elliot mean by like I like the way she was, I like Jules how she was. Yeah, because she was drugged up. He ain't never seen that. You know what I'm saying? He's like, it was kind of not, it wasn't my place. But at the same time, I caught Y'all know me. I call Elliot a hyena. I think Elliot was just in the nose they're trying to do what he needs to do. But I actually got commend him for doing what he did. He actually looked out for her. And this pro this definitely could have possibly saved her life. <sighs> we get to the point. Jewels leave. They all leave. And they're heading out. <laughs> Rue actually agrees to go to the ER. But they, like, hit her with the Rico and say, hey, we're going we gonna to take you to, to the rehab. <laughs> Rue, like, 
No, that ain't what y'all fucking said. That ain't what y'all said. That ain't what we agreed to. And then, it's crazy to say, we had just like, if it wasn't for this intervention, I probably would've killed myself in like a month. And like, she said it so casually, but I don't think, I, I don't wanna get too personal with people. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna put my business out there. Cool, it, I, I think at this point, I've said enough stuff in previous videos to say I've like fought with shit, like with like suicide before and shit. So I've said that the same thing around people. And they later on told me after like, you don't know how much that fucking hurts when you just say that shit so casually, like it's nothing, like your life is just that that, that meaningless. Because that's how Rue kind of, she went about it. She was like, oh, well, I was, yeah, I was gonna be dead in like a month. You know what I'm saying? If y'all wanna see, y'all wanna do this, I was gonna be out of here. It's like, the people that love you, like they're, they're so uncomfortable, uncomfortable to them but to you, it's just kind of like, ah, that's just shit, whatever. I, I, that was that was that was in, that was in the forecast for me. It was a uh, rainy day. <laughs> I was gonna be crying, but shit, I was gonna be out there, be. You know what I'm saying? That's that's why it was. And like, Rook jumps out the car, dashes, and this is when we get into one of the most craziest sequences I have ever seen in this fucking show. And listen, people, I saw Cassie sitting in a tub for like half an episode because she's got two fucking her best friend, ex-boyfriend. But <laughs> we get into we get into that a little bit a little bit later, all right? Rue proceeds to go through so many different things. Rue is going to just strangers' houses. She's going to every, she, she looking for Fed because she know Fed's got the dope. She, she's getting chased by police. Uh, she's she befriending dogs. She robbing motherfuckers. Like Rue is literally doing everything. Okay, now all those other things are definitely bad, but the one that that, that that's just disgusting me, bro, is when she start trying to steal the pills out of Fed's grandma room. I'm just like, damn, Rue. Like this your this your dog. This man like now expect like just think about it. Think of back to season one. When she apologized to Fez and everything, after they gave one of the best, one of my well, still probably to this day my favorite scene and throughout the entire series, and that was when uh Rue was knocking on the door. Uh, if Fez won't let in, he's just like, I ain't serving her no more. You know what I'm saying? I can't keep serving you. You know what I'm saying? You're my friend. I'm not finna, you know what I'm saying? Keep like, letting you do this around me. You feel me? And then, granted, Fez went back on that. Because I kind of feel like he's just like, she going to do it regardless. I might as well be the person like around her while she's doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's what his mindset was. That's typical how people's mindset is. Because there's no way we was going to stop regardless. You know what I'm saying? And like Fez, I mean, Fez, Fez probably know, like, my shit clean. She ain't got to worry about nothing being in it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm look out for her, You feel me? But, like, yeah. We go from that to Rue literally in this dude's grandma's room, like, scoury for drugs. And she find it. And, like, fit, like, it's just that intuition that you have. Like, when you know, like, that gut feeling, you just know something ain't right. And Fed walking down is just like, Come on, bro. <laughs> like, he just like, come on, man. You got to go. Like, he ain't like, get the trip. He just like, yeah, you, you got to go. But you know who gets the trip? Rue, because Rue, she, she's going through withdrawal. She needs, she need a fix. She needs something bad. Ooh, she needs something bad. She can't control it. She, she just losing her fucking mind. And like, she starts going off on Fed. Fed just simply grabs her. Oh, nope. Not today, Rue. You ain't doing this today. Like, he, he just seemed like, he just seemed like, a, that's the most adult Fez has felt to me. He's just like, no, not today. You just getting out of here. Like, it wasn't like mean. It wasn't malicious. He's just like, no, not today. You tripping? Get the fuck out. You can tell that that's like a real friend. It's like, bro, get the fuck out. We not doing this today. Get up, get up out the spot. Come back when you, you know what I'm saying? When you straight. But like, no, nah, we not finna do this today, bro. You just tried to steal my grandma's medicine, bro. My grandma medicine who don't move or don't do nah, nah get the fuck get out the spot. You know what I'm You tripping. That's what it was. And once again, like I said, Rue goes to <laughs> I, listen, the police got out the room and I said the only thing I could think to myself was Oh, you ain't catching no crackheads. Rue, I ain't never seen Rue do any kind of thing athletic, bro. 
Bro, when she's trying to get away from the cops, bro, Rue had all the stamina in the world, bro. Rue walks around like a zombie. When she's getting chased by the police, bro, Rue look like she can run out, do a whole triathlon, dog, because she was moving. Every <laughs> she got, she started hopping fences, dumping, jumping in trash cans, jumping on top of cars, everything she needed to do to get the fuck away. I said, damn, bro, if you really apply yourself, you can do some shit. Okay, you doing this? Why you fucking, uh, 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 having withdrawals? Tell her what you do. You got in the gym a little bit. Hey, Ru can be in the Olympics, bro. God damn. <laughs> Ru eventually ends up at, uh, what is her name? I can't think of, uh, I don't know the name of the drug dealer lady. I think her name is Leslie. For the sake of the review, her name's gonna be. <sighs> can it be Leslie? Can I just call her Leslie and we be cool with it? I know that's not her name. I know her name. I, I just can't think of her name. For the sake of this, her name gonna be Leslie. Now, Rue had just so happened to steal some diamonds and shit from a house that she had went to and sold some money. So just, just stealing shit, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 I, I don't know. I, it's just what Rue's on. <coughs> she went enough, gave her that, and just like, all right, man, I'll get the rest of you later. This lady is so calm. She's like, I don't get angry, man. She's just, she's just talking to Rue as calm and as peaceful. She's just like, I don't, I don't get angry, but uh, I understand, like, you know what I'm saying, you messed up right now, but uh, you're going to have to give me the rest of my money. <laughs> or uh, it's like, because uh, this is not a pawn shop, you know, so I, I'm going to need the rest of my money. And like she looked out for Rue. But only thing Rue was thinking, <coughs> it's some drugs up in that damn closet with that locket. I think I, I need to get them. I need to get them drugs. I need to get them drugs. Fresh off the episode, you know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, like, was she trying to get the drugs? Is she also trying to get out the house? I think she wanted the drugs for sure, more than anything. Like Rue wanted them drugs. I, I have to get them. I got to get them drugs. I gotta get, I know she got some shit on this bitch, you know what I'm saying? I need something. That, and like, that's the whole, that rules mind never left in drugs, ever. Not once How did I mind just think like, man, I should just chill out. No, rule mind was constantly 100%, I have to get me some fucking drugs. I don't care about what is happening. Boy, did I almost, did I get to the end of this episode and damn near skip? The biggest thing in this episode, I'm gonna go back to it. I almost did that. I almost did that. I'm tripping. I, I, I'm tripping. I guess because I started the episode and I'm talking about it, but I'm gonna get back to it in a minute. I'm gonna just go through this real quick because this was important because I think uh, she ends up giving uh, Rue some morphine. Um, I think it was morphine. And I, like, Rue had this whole flashback about her, her dad. That's what she wanted because I told y'all. That was the biggest issue is that she still has not come to grips with her father's death. She, she has it. And she, the only thing she thinks, she's like, oh, when she close her eyes, she sees her dad. So how can she see her dad all the time? Close her fucking eyes permanently. That's what she wants to do. And what's stopping her from doing that is the drugs. We see her have the little speech at the uh, at, at the funeral. My girl Lexi, right? Like, Lexi has been there. I don't know why they just constantly put Lexi in there. Like, they got to do something with that. Because, like, Lexi is always there for this motherfucker. Like, always. But, yeah. Uh, I think old, old girl, the drug dealer, she definitely going to, uh, she going to give Rudy, like, sell some, sell some ass. Yeah. Rudy don't come through with that money. She, Rudy, she going to be pimping Rudy. Rudy going to be out here uh, looking like Faith. They gonna put some some fillers in root root lip. They got a room cone. They gonna be like, hey, this is a lot hot high school thing. They gonna dress root up. We know Zendaya look good already. We gonna see root actually dressed up nice one day. Shit, we gonna be out there be popping. Put. Don't stop popping. I don't know, man. Shit, root might get about five hundred a lick, but. Rue look like she don't do nothing in the bed. I'm sorry. I, I just, Rue Ru just lay there. Like, this is not fun for me, baby. Can I get a refund? I can't do nothing with this. She just sit there. My bad. Uh, <laughs> I'm, get, I'm getting off a little bit. I'm getting I'm, I'm, I'm getting off subject a little bit. Let's go. 
Because yeah, Rue ended up jumping out because once she realized she hit the drill, she jumps out and goes, seems like she's running home. First of all, that's not Rue who walked in that door. I guarantee you that's not Rue who walked in that door. Now y'all know I don't actually watch the previews uh of the next episode till like midweek. Because I do like actual reactions to them and then I do my predictions and stuff. But actually I was completely wrong. Oh, <laughs> just don't even go back and watch that shit. I was completely wrong. But you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna do that. Now let's let's hit reverse a little bit. Let's hit rewind a little bit. Let's hit rewind a little bit. Cause uh, while Rue was going through doing it, all the shit she was doing, she just so happened to stop and holler at uh, Lexi. Hey Lexi, um, I'm feeling pretty bad. I got a cold. Well, Lexi's like, hey, she said, don't don't come near me. I'm busy doing some stuff of my own. You know what I'm saying? She's like, oh, well, that's all good. She hugging everybody. Can I use your bathroom? We know once again she goes scoured, scouring for drugs. She's looking for whatever she can find. She's stealing the shit. Boom. She come back on her mama right there. Rue, stop. Why you keep trying hurting the people you love, Rue? Rue ain't hearing none of this. Rue like, I'm just trying to get the fuck. I'm just trying to get the fuck. And then that's when Cassie, she's like, I, I just, I can't do this, man. I can't do this shit. Rue just, just my girl Rue going through it, bro. I, it's, I, I feel like as much as Rue goes through stuff, go through ups and downs, I feel like as a fan, I, you do the same thing because there are so many times where you just like completely frustrated with Rue and you just call her a piece of shit and like the worst human being. But at the same time, there's time like Zendaya's acting is great. I feel like I feel like I should have highlighted this in the beginning. It's time where she can just be like so menacing and just mean, and that's menacing is like pretty weird to say, but like when she's like bucking up to her mama and so on and so forth but there's time where just like you can see like damn she's just like a she's a kid she's a kid that's hurting and needs help that that also is rejecting it at the same time you know what i'm saying like you you can just see that like she's just like a frail fragile little kid and i love how Zendaya is able to like go through all of those things and make you see all of those different things but yeah, somebody else who was just a little frail, Cassie, Cassie, shut the fuck up. My your business, Cassie, what are you doing? Out of all people, bro, listen, out of everybody in that house, everybody in that house, <laughs> bro, just look at everybody in that house. Everybody who could have possibly said something to Rue to make her just like, yo, chill, it's all right. <laughs> the one person <laughs> who who thought it would be okay to say something. Granted, she probably didn't know. She didn't. She didn't know right. Rue knew about her and uh, and made and everything. Was Cassie and Cassie saying it, bro? I, I said it earlier. She had this big Kool Aid smile. It's okay, big Rue. One day at a time. Cassie, let me ask you a question. <laughs> you know how rude being. Cassie, let me ask you a question. How long have you been fucking late? <laughs> Boy, listen, bro. Y'all saw my reaction. I, I was out of my body. I was out of my body. <laughs> listen, <laughs> you come back to Cassie. Her eyes were immediately red. I said, damn, Cassie hit the blunt. <laughs> she hit the blunt when I wasn't looking. <laughs> she hit the, she also some look <laughs> I could have sworn her face was just as oh, like pretty and everything. You, soon as Rue asked that, she come, you come back to Cassie. Her eyes are swollen and they bloodshot red. I said, damn. Cassie hit the blood and nobody saw it. She should have handed it to the room. Rue probably needed it. I'm sure they, what the fuck? Maddie loses her shit. Like, hold on. Even Cassie, like, Cassie, that was, that's messed up. My girl Lexi up here like, oh, this gonna be good in the script. <laughs> She's like, what? Good boy. <laughs> then Cassie did the double one down and said, oh, Cassie, shake back. Shake back. Do something. Y'all gonna listen to her? She a drug addict. <laughs> she said, no! No! She didn't, she didn't hit her with the drug again. I don't blame my part with it. I said, bro, Bro, she gonna say anything. She full of that shit. I said, bro, she, 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 like, 
she uh she having withdrawals right now. She gonna say anything. Maddie knew, like Maddie knew something. Boy, Maddie, she said, Maddie said, nah, it's finna get violent in here. I was like, oh no, no, this to get violent. Rue Mama like, I don't care who fucking who. <laughs> we have an intervention. Cassie, I mean, uh, yeah, Cassie Mama here like, no, we shouldn't do this right now. You acting like an animal. Maddie ain't listening to none of that. Cassie started crying. She's like, you fuck my ex. And you the one crying? <laughs> You're the most selfish. I was just like, get a get up. Oh, green Jimmy the cricket suit wearing ass motherfucker. Get up. Oh, short Colin Powell haircut having ass motherfucker. Get up. Little Angela Davis mustache wearing ass motherfucker. Get up. Little Richard Pryor short cut fade having around the side. Get up. Hell yeah. Get up. That's what she deserved. That bitch been. Big titties, big titties ain't gonna save you today. They ain't gonna save you from mad. Mad should have got mad, which we don't even know what the fuck happened, bro. It's just like Rue was just going through, just setting, bar, just setting fires everywhere she went, and just going to the next place. Oh, set this place on fire. I'm out of here. Uh, set this place on fire. Up oh, out here. Uh, another fire. I'm out of here. But just, that one was the biggest one though. Cause ooh, I know Lexi finna get back up there on that laptop. <sighs> bitch, bitch, you see? Hold on, hold on. You was fucking my ex boyfriend, and you got the. No I know my girl in there on that laptop from one of work. Down ready to. Can we get to the play, please? Can we get to the play, please? I am ready to see what my girl put. The Man, that we knew it was gonna come out. <laughs> We weren't expecting it to come out like that. <laughs> but the moment, like, <laughs> the moment she said it, it's like everything just stopped. Everything just completely stopped. The whole episode just stopped. I think the music stopped. Everybody stopped breathing for a minute. The moment Cassie said, it's just taking one day at a time. <laughs> I'll never forget. I, this, that's this going to be, like, etched in my brain, bro. It's the fact that Cassie had this big ass smile saying this shit and Rue just was like, nah, bitch, fuck you. <laughs> she like, when was it? Nah, no, Ron, New Year's. Dog. Ooh, so now, bro, now, Maddie gonna, Maddie finna crash out? Maddie finna drop the tape? I still feel like her and Jules cool, though. I don't feel like she gonna wanna do drills like that. But I do honestly feel like she wants some get back on Nate. Cause Nate been getting over. On her, especially. Who gonna hang with Cassie now? And she already kind of been like shunning Lex. Bro, that shit was good. That shit was good. Damn, man, I said I was gonna make it like 20 minutes today. I, I would have been there if I would have mentioned this shit earlier. I thought I mentioned this part of it. I thought I could have cut it in 20 minutes, but we had 29, damn near 30 again. Fuck. I'm, I'm, I promise y'all, one day, I'm going to get it down to like 30 minutes. I mean, like 20 minutes. 16 is my preferable like time, but uh, it is what it is. I hope y'all enjoy these 20, 30 minute reviews. Uh, just say whatever you want in the comment section because I'm a lover of God. Y'all, the comment section is one of my favorite places because y'all always got like some fire takes. Y'all be saying some cool shit to me. Y'all be motivating me and shit, bro. But yeah, fantastic episode. Uh, <laughs> Take it one day at a time, bro. Fuck you, dumb man. Hey, bro. Thank you guys for watching, man. I hope you guys stay safe. And I can say hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Oh, man. Um, I catch up with y'all next Sunday. Oh, I catch up with y'all Wednesday for my more euphoria content because I'm going to do the. the uh, <laughs> I'm going to do the uh, predictions and shit. I'll probably be wrong again. Uh, it is what it is, bro. I just do it for fun at this point. Uh, peace out, people.